Hmm. I'm not sure if this is the Walking Dead, you know, <laughs> the last day of SHOT Show. <laughs> it is an endurance test, to be sure. It yeah. is all of that. It's, uh, you know, it's funny. You really have to kind of get yourself ready for it. I know people who start on their, like, take it airborne and all yeah. that. It's like, i got to get my immunity up. You know, we got to get this whole thing done. So, you know, it's, it's really a whole bunch of fun. All right. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Tom Gresham. It's the Gun Talk booth at the SHOT Show brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. It is the last day of SHOT Show, day four. But for a lot of folks, they've been here for a lot longer than that, setting up booths and everything. We're joined. This is great because the National Shooting Sports Foundation puts on the SHOT Show. We're joined by Bill Dunn and Joe Bartosi, who's the president. Congratulations. Thank of you. NSSF. Thank you. You know, a longtime veteran of the firearms industry with Mossberg for a long time. Yep. So, yeah, so you, you've been to a lot of SHOT Shows. This is my 22nd SHOT Show, but really? my first as a member of the staff of NSSF. It's great to be here and kind of see the, the, whole, the whole show take shape from a different angle. Sure. Uh, you, so you, very interesting. You, you think you know about something until you get on the inside of how it runs, and you go, oh, there's a whole lot more to it than I realized. Yeah, yeah. It's always the case. All right, so we were talking about how a friend of mine sent me a note. He says, yeah, I went to SHOT Show a few years ago, and in one day I looked at it and says, I had gone 10 miles you know, one of the things I try to tell people when, if you're a first-time attendee, you, you ought to have a plan and you ought to pace yourself because before you know it, you'll, you will rack up 10 miles in a day and, and you'll be beat. And then the rest of the show is kind of like a, a torture test because you're sore and achy. Yeah, your back's hurting, your feet yep. are hurting, and you're going, I don't know how that happened. All I did was go to a trade show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except that, well, this thing's huge. How, many, how big is SHOT Show? Well, right now we, we cover almost 700,000 square feet. We've got 12 and a half miles of aisles you know to walk down and, and, and we have about almost 60,000 people attend this and of course you say 12 and a half miles but nobody goes like that we no, go no, oh, no. here and here and here and it's I mean Bill it's just inefficient what we do but that's just how we work yeah right? when well, you think 12.5 miles that's a half marathon so holy cow yeah you're right but that's a straight line as that's you say a straight line. when you go back and forth you you can uh, and, easily triple that and I'm looking at this and say, well I got to go to Black Hills it's over there but then I got to go to Ruger and it's over there and then I got to go back over there and then I'm thinking no that's poor planning yeah <laughs> you know, so have a plan. Have a plan is, is the way to go. You're right. And the thing is, if you're coming to Shot Show, all that information, the floor plan is available beforehand. Right. You can plan your appointments. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to work this area, and then we're going to work this area. Right. Because there are all these different areas. We have the, the law enforcement section has grown incredibly over the incredible, years. Incredible, and it's packed every day. I was over there, and it's just incredible. It's, if It would be the biggest law enforcement show ever in the world if it were not part of Shot Show. Just our section. Just, just, just that section. section. Absolutely. Holy cow. Yeah. That's so quite amazing. We also have a couple of new. We have the sh supplier showcase, which is on Monday and Tuesday. So now that's all the that? that's all the suppliers. So the guys that make the metals, the plastics, the springs. Oh, okay. And manufacturers are able to connect with them. So it's been hugely successful. And we're going to we're actually going to expand that next year. Right. Yeah, we're actually growing next year and right. going to have to go to multiple locations right. as well. We have such a such a waiting list of people that are trying to get into Shot Show, and you know we're trying to accommodate those guys because they have something good to offer. So tr in order to accommodate them, we don't we kind of ran out of space here. Here. Yep, we're, we're going to move to a separate venue to try and accommodate these folks and to maximize the efficiency of people coming to the show and then being able to see all these things uh, in the same week. I do want to point out the SHOT Show is an industry trade show. It is not open to the public, and nothing is being sold in the booth. Well, the orders are being taken. Yes, for sure. But yeah. you don't, like, walk in and buy backpacks and walk out with them. That's not what this is at all. It's right. strictly an industry trade it's show. business to business. Uh, we want to encourage contracts and, and purchase orders and sales, but not retail and not uh, not to the public. But it is really cool. So I, I want to tell people just a little bit more about the National Shooting Sports Foundation. As the Industry Trade Association, uh, NSSF does a lot for gun stores, retailers, gun ranges and all that, but also from my perspective does an awful lot just for gun ownership in the country and i think this newest program that you have the plus one program bill is an amazing example of that tell them about what that is well the idea behind the plus one program is imagine if everybody out there introduced one new person this year we could double our ranks to shooting and hunting to shooting and hunting okay think about the shot show we have almost sixty thousand people here imagine if all sixty thousand people took somebody new we'd have sixty thousand new hunters and shooters so now imagine if everybody in america did that so there are 14, 15 million hunters, double that. Uh, a lot of things happen immediately from that. 
the first one I think of is that, and a lot of people don't realize this, Joe, is that, you know, on your guns and ammunition, there's an excise tax on right. that, right? Yes, it's an 11, 11% or 10%, depending on the type of firearm. And then, of course, on ammunition as well as the excise tax, that goes to the Pittman-Robertson Fund, which pays for the conservation all across the country. you got conservation, habitat restoration, and also for shooting ranges. Right, Can exactly. be used for that as well. So that's a, that would be a ton of money that comes in. And then, of course, if you bring more people frankly, from the political side, and I know that's not your deal, but I think of it this way, the more people who are actively involved in shooting and firearms ownership, the more people we have standing with us on the political fight as well. Oh, yeah. I think I've taken many people shooting, and you open their mind to new things. Uh, maybe they were afraid of guns before, but once they go and they see how safe it is and how much fun it is, like you really change people's perceptions. And when they're only hearing one side of the debate right. from you know, our friends in the press, perhaps, that that have a particular agenda, and they only hear that side. They don't realize, oh, yeah, this is it's great being outdoors. It's great being able to participate in the sport. I can do this with my kids or my grandkids. Um, they, they do change their mind, and it does open their minds up. I have to share with you a story I heard last night. You know, we just, we're always talking to people all the time here. And the guy said, yeah, he says, my mother was uh, really hated guns, really afraid of guns. I said, really? He's, he said, not anymore. I said, what'd you do? He says, I put it on the table. I took it all apart. Here's all the parts. This is how it goes together. She says, well, that's just a machine. He says, yes, it's just a machine. She says, there's no reason to be afraid of that. Right. I went, brilliant. Right. I've never heard of that approach, but I loved it. Right. You want to respect it, right? But you don't want to be afraid of it. You want to, have, yeah. you want to be able to be in control and, and to respect that. So what, what's available through the Plus One program? I mean, I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, you ought to take somebody out. Yep. But another thing to say, okay, here's some tools. Yeah, so we actually developed two new websites just in the past few months, letsgohunting.org and letsgoshooting.org. And our goal with those was to create the ultimate all-in-one resource for shooters and hunters. Okay. You can find shooting ranges near you, retailers near you. There are hundreds of videos for all skill levels, anybody oh, okay. from just getting started to people that have been involved videos to, to teach people how to introduce people yeah. into shooting and, and hunting techniques yeah. and hunting techniques okay and, and huh. yeah. yeah and then we also have two separate plus one sections to these sites geared specifically towards somebody that wants to become a mentor so there's some great tips on how to make that first experience the best that it can possibly be so you can get some great ideas safety tips um, and some good videos that give you some idea of what what it's going to be like Basically when you bring that person help to the you range become an instructor, if yeah, you will, exactly. a one-on-one -on -one instructor. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, are there going to be any, like, hands-on events or things going on around the country? Are we going to do anything like that? Our goal with this is to kind of tie it into everything because the, the message is just so simple. Bring somebody new mm -hmm. that we want to get the whole industry on board and, frankly, every hunter and shooter on board just to share this message far and wide with the power of social media. Right. In invite as many people well, as you can. And you tie that with the uh, na uh, the National Shooting Sports sh uh, Shooting Sports Month, which is August. Right. And we had over a thousand events last year. Oh wow. So for people come to the range and experience shooting. Okay. And we're going to try and double that this coming year. So it's you know it's one part like plus one is one thing, but if you couple it with Shooting Sports Month, uh, with First Shots program, which we also offer, before you know it, you've got a lot of tentacles reaching out and getting people to come into the sport. One of the other things that NSSF has done, and people may not associate NSSF with that, a lot of people have heard about the Project Child Safe, giving away, at this point, 38 million gun locks. That's an NSSF program. Yep. It's been going on for 20 years? 20 years. 20, you're celebrating our 20 year this year. Wow. Uh, very proud. We've partnered with over 15,000 law enforcement and other community partners throughout the entire U.S., over 38 million safety kits, which include a gun lock. And again, the message is, look, preventing access to firearms by people that ought not have them right. or children that can't, can't use them safely. And uh, so, yeah, we're very proud of this, this program. I think it saves lives. I think it gets the message out that res responsible storage is, is paramount if you're going to have a firearm. All right, so National Shooting Sports Foundation does all these things, but what it's really all about is serving the firearms industry. But the industry is not – people think of the firearms industry being people who make guns. But it's also people who sell guns, uh, people who have shooting ranges. And if you would, Joe, just talk about kind of a few of the programs you have that will help people be better at those things. Right. Well, the largest segment of our membership is actually retailers. Okay. Um, and we have programs out there that teach retailers, uh, educate retailers on things like business practices, uh, business models, um, lead abatement, noise abatement, 
and we've got uh, people on staff and people um, as consultants that okay. will come in and do like security, store security. Okay. We have a new program called Operation Secure Store, so if you have a retail outlet, we want to prevent smash and grabs. You bet. So we, we can send people into your facility, do a do a uh, an do assessment a of security. security review on yep, it. Yep, we have a checklist of things to look out for, lighting and things like that, sure. and cameras. So we offer a lot of these programs, and frankly, the, the, the cost uh, to a retail member is, is low compared to the value of what you get back just by being part of the members uh, all over the country. Yeah, I know one of the things NSSF does is you work closely with ATF. You're always talking with ATF. And so you can get information back to the retailer of, look, this is a program you need to be aware of, or this is how you need to be working with ATF. This is what's going on with the regulations. Just kind of keeping them up to date with that kind of thing. Right, well, it, it, it's a two-way street. You know, they, they are the regulators. They appreciate the fact that we are trying to prevent thefts. I mean, we talk to ATF and they say, look, to us, when a gun store gets robbed, it's like a bank robbery to the FBI. That's the analogy oh, they make. It's like to what we we respond to every single robbery at a gun store. Right. Um, and we appreciate the fact that, eight, that NSSF is there to help educate and, and help recover these things. And we offer matching rewards too. So if there's a reward out for the recovery of the guns, NSF will match that reward. Uh, okay. So it's an incentive to get those, you know, get those guns back out of the, the criminal element uh, circulation. One of the things that you guys do that people may not be aware of, and you don't have to actually have a commercial range for this, is NSSF has range specialists. And I've had people who say, you know, I really want to build a shooting range like on some land I have. So well, look, you know, you don't have to go reinvent the wheel. You know, the National Shooting Sports Foundation has information about how to build a safe range from berms to angles to all the things you need to know. You know it's all there available to you right yeah. now. And we have people on staff that, that do that. That's what they do. Their, range, their job is to work with range members to help them, uh, educate them on construction, uh, repair, Anything, you know, from, the from regula lead and noise, local, local regu regulations, OSHA, EPA, yeah, those work, things. Working yeah. with the I want to put in a shooting range. Uh, the the local city council has a real problem with that. Okay, here here's the information you need where you go in and say, look, this is why it's going to be safe. This is what we're going to be doing, all that kind of deal. And it's like, okay, here's your package of stuff, mm -hmm. and it's this tall, right? right? I mean, yeah. it's I call it intellectual <laughs> ammunition. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Honestly, if you're thinking about starting a shooting range, the uh -huh. first thing you should do is join NSSF because there are so many resources available to help you get off the ground. Like, mm -hmm. And we have a lot of startups that come to us w for guidance and become members. And there are a lot of new ranges being opened these days. Yes. Well, that's I mean, a good thing. Oh, yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah. And the other thing is a lot of them are in, in the cities, not out. I mean, the indoor ranges and where it's attractive, where people live, where they can go in the evening. I've run into some of them that are so nice, they've become date destinations. Right, right. Isn't that interesting? I had met a couple that said, yeah, we went here for our anniversary. You went to a shooting range for your anniversary. Oh, yeah, we love it here. That's a good thing. It is great. It's a new model. It's a new business model. It's very attractive. It's clean. Right. It's safe. And, as, and I, there's one not far from my house. They have a nice little clubhouse in there. Yeah. You know, it's indoor range. It's clean. And it's packed always. But there's also like a little social area uh, apart from the range itself where people can actually gather and have, and have a great uh, conversation. To your point, it's a business uh, opportunity. And if you're thinking about anything like that, I think if you're right. Your first step should be join NSSF, get the information, because it's like, okay, this is what you need to know. It's that old deal of, oh, I've been to ranges all my life. Yeah, that doesn't mean you know how to run one or run the right. business of one. Right. Uh, I always say gun stores to me, a lot of independent gun stores are kind of like independent bookstores. Some folks get into it because they love the activity, but they may not really understand how to run the business. And that goes all the way back to what you're talking about. NSSF helps you understand how to run your business and right. actually keep it in business. The yeah, hobby is one thing, but if you're actually... <laughs> in business to make a profit, to make a living, there are certain things you ought to be focusing on, and we have those resources and tools to help you uh, achieve your goals. Yeah, and of course, NSSF runs the SHOT Show. The, uh, this is, I think I heard, is this like the fifth biggest show in Vegas? It it's, is. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. 19th largest in North America. No kidding? Yep. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And it used to bounce around, but there's hardly any place that can take it. It's so big now. So it's pretty right. much a Vegas deal. Vegas has the infrastructure to support the, the, the people coming in. You know, you don't just bring 60,000 people and drop them in and, no. and where are they going to eat, where are they going to sleep, right? So right. But Vegas has an infrastructure, and I'll, I'll tell you, the people here in Las Vegas, the convention center, the people have been just great. They have been 
Um, wonderful to deal with, wonderful to work with. And, and you're right, we have bounced around. I've been to, I think, five different locations over, over my uh, tenure. Right. Um, and um, Vegas seems to be not only the biggest uh, draw, but uh, in terms of number of people coming in, always have the highest numbers in well, Vegas. And, it, and frankly, it just runs more smoothly here. Right. It's, like, it can be they're supported. They're used to doing it. They're right. pros. Right. They know how to do it. All right, the National Student Sports Foundation, the website is nssf.org. Pretty simple. Check it out. Bill, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Joe, congratulations Thanks on the, the presidency. This is a pretty cool deal. Yes, it is. It's uh, exciting. I love the SHOT Show, and by the end of the fourth day, I'm ready to go home, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll be back in just a little bit with more from the SHOT Show. For the excitement, for discipline learned, and accomplishments earned for busted doubles and one whole groups for distant glory and instant gratification for everything the shooting sports have given you we're asking you to share with someone new and help grow the number of recreational shooters the plus one movement is a mission to do exactly that if just one out of three recreational shooters and hunters bring one new person, we'll create a strong future for generations to come. So be the one. Sign up, step up, and take a friend with you who's never been. One outing can be all it takes to change someone's life forever. And what you'll get out of it will be just as rewarding. Visit letsgoshooting.org and get started today. You are conservationists, craftsmen, students, mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, and champions of the American way. Hunters are a lot of things, and now we're asking you to become one more. Mentors, to welcome new hunters into the fold. The Plus One Movement is a mission to do exactly that. If just one out of three hunters add one new person to our ranks, decline in participation would be a thing of the past. We're asking you to be the one. For all the ways hunting has enriched your life, step up, sign up, and take a friend, a coworker, and anyone who's never been. One hunt can be all it takes to change someone's life forever. And what you'll get out of it will be just as rewarding. Visit letsgohunting.org and get started today. The future of our sport depends on it. 